Miyamoto Musashi was Japan's greatest swordsman. He was undefeated for 66 duels. Musashi was known for his unique style of swordsmanship using two blades. Among other things, he was also a writer, philosopher, and ronin, or masterless samurai. Comic book artist Stan Sakai partially based his greatest creation on this legendary great man, Miyamoto Usagi, in his book Usagi Yojimbo. Stan Sakai began his career lettering comics such as Gru the Wanderer and the Masters of the Universe mini comics. He also wrote and illustrated Nilsson Ground Thumper and Hermie, which was inspired by Gru the Wanderer. It was from his own work in Nilsson Ground Thumper that Mr. Sakai was inspired to create a samurai rabbit named Miyamoto Usagi in 1984. Usagi's first appearance was in Albedo Anthropomorphic No. 2 in November 1984. He even got the cover. Miyamoto Usagi got more stories in Albedo Anthropomorphic 3 and 4 where he once again got the cover. Fantagraphics offered Mr. Sakai to bring Miyamoto Usagi's adventure to their publishing and appear in their book, Critters another anthropomorphic animal anthology book. He agreed and was published in Critters No. 1. Mr. Zakai's other creation, Nilsson Ground Thumper, was also being published in Critters. His work was so well liked that Fantagraphics published Usagi Yojimbo Summer Special in 1986. This led to Miyamoto Usagi getting his own series titled Usagi Yojimbo in 1987. In January 1988, Critter Special No. 1 featured the adventures of Nilsson Ground Thumper and Hermie's story, Game of Death. It was here that we can see Miyamoto Usagi strolling in the background. As a side note, another Adventures of Nilsson Ground Thumper and Hermie's story has a young Stan Sakai make a cameo drawing in a building. In some of the Usagi Ojembo stories, you can catch Mr. Sakai in the crowd or somewhere in the background. Fantagraphics released 38 regular Usagi Ojembo issues for Volume 1, one summer special, and three color specials. In 1993, Mr. Sakai moved to Mirage Studios, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles home publisher, where they published 16 issues of Volume 2 before once again moving to another production company. For spring 1996, Mr. Sakai would bring Usagi Yojimbo to Dark Horse Comics where he called home for the next 172 issues of Volume 3 and Color Specials. Mr. Sakai was with Dark Horse for 22 years until he departed for another publisher in 2018. Volume 4 started in summer 2019. The publisher for Usagi Ojimbo would now be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles publisher yet again, IDW. Mr. Sakai only lasted till 2022 with 30 issues and several reprints of classic stories under IDW's belt. When Mr. Sakai returned to Dark Horse, he got his own imprint. As of this video, Volume 5 hasn't been released and will be returning to Spinner Racks in 2023. Miyamoto Usagi is no stranger to teaming up with different characters, whether it be from Usagi Yojimbo or from other creators. Even Godzilla helps him out one time. But most agree that the most iconic team-ups with Usagi were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Things started in 1985 with a simple pin-up of the Turtles and Miyamoto Usagi in Donatello No. 1. 
The first story with a crossover is in 1987's Turtle Soup No. 1, Volume 1. In Turtle Soup and Rabbit Stew, Leonardo pops up in Usagi's world and they end up almost fighting each other. The next time is in Usagi Yojimbo No. 10 in 1988. This is a Peter Laird story, The Crossing. It's also a Leonardo story. In this story, we get a rare glimpse at Usagi being illustrated by Mr. Laird. Afterwards, in 1989, the book Shellshock in the story The Treaty also has Leonardo. If you didn't know, Leonardo was Mr. Sakai's favorite turtle. That same year, the Fred Wolf Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series introduced the Ronin in Season 3, Episode 32, Usagi Yojimbo. Shockingly, this is the first time he teams up with all four turtles and meets Splinter. What strange style of fighting is this? I would call it slapstick. He would show up one more time in the series in episode 34, Usagi Come Home. This same year, Usagi Yojimbo would receive an action figure in Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line and widely expose him to kids. Space Usagi from a small series of comics would come up next in 1991 in the same toy line. The first time the Ronin would team up with the Turtles in comic book form was in Usagi Yojimbo Volume 2, Number 1, in 1993. The story is a three-parter, Shades of Green. He also meets Kakera for the first time, aka Splinter in Japanese. It's important to note that this was the time when Usagi Yojimbo was being published by Mirage Publishing, known for being the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original home publisher. Usagi Yojimbo has shown up with the Green Machine many times in different media. He has more action figures in their toy line than on his own. In spring of 2022, Usagi Yojimbo was made into a Netflix show. At least that's what we were meant to believe. In reality, the show follows a descendant of Miyamoto Usagi named Yuichi. It takes place in the future and has many similar characters to the Usagi Yojimbo comic books. There are currently two seasons as of this video. Miyamoto Usagi is a beloved character thanks to the Fred Wolf animated series. The Playmates 1989 figure and the 2013 Nickelodeon animated series. Which is quite unfortunate because his comic book is one of the best written and illustrated thanks to Sakai being the sole writer and illustrator after all these years. This also means that Usagi Yojimbo stories can be published by different companies and have whatever crossovers Mr. Sakai allows. Usagi Yojimbo wouldn't be the same without Mr. Sakai staying at the helm after all these years. Stan Sakai is Miyamoto Usagi's soul. <laughs>